Many folks have asked us why we don't review cases for smartphones and the simple answer to that is that most review units are there with us for a very limited amount of time and we usually use the bundle case to keep it safe if there is one so that we can return it as good as new when they collect it back. But we do case reviews for smartphones that we use personally as we tend to have it for much longer and this is a video case review for the Raptic case by Exdoria for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now before we get this started, please do make sure to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications for more videos like this. Now let's begin. The variant that we are reviewing is the Raptic Shield case for the 12 Pro Max in the iridescent colorway which looks great as it adds a touch of flashiness to this otherwise functional and understated design. This color also goes well with the Pacific Blue 12 Pro Max, although I also really dig the red-black fade variant which also should go well with other colors or you can also get the space grey and red variants. In terms of design, the Raptic Shield case is meant to be a tough case for your 12 Pro Max that can protect it from drops and shocks. The case comprises of a clear polycarbonate back with metal edges as well as bubble-shaped rubber air pockets that absorb and dissipates impact from falls. The case is very rigid and makes it a bit tougher to get it on and off but that's fine since it is meant to do that by design. Like other devices that have the mil 810G standard, this is designed to flex as little as possible since it is that flex which causes glass and other components to break. This too is meant to provide support to the phone and prevent glass and other components from too much flex and by the way this exceeds mil 810G standard. The box says that it is tested up to 3 meters or 10 feet onto concrete and while we didn't try it out ourselves we can safely say the claims could be true but keep in mind a lot of it depends on the materials as well as the angle, height and speed of impact but concrete is one of the toughest materials that you could accidentally drop your phone onto during a regular day of use and this is a very confidence inspiring case and you can be sure that this is much better than practically any other case out there in terms of protecting your device. The extra padding on the top and bottom and edges also means that it is likely to fall on those due to the way that the weight is distributed and this means that your phone is safer when it comes to drops. The tough rubber sides do give better grip than the stainless steel edges of the phone and of course there is no issue of fingerprints either. The buttons are still easy to press and cut out from the power port, microphone, speakers and mute switch are all quite precise. For me personally, I don't find it difficult to handle. I have large hands, but yes, the case does add more bulk in terms of weight and size to the already big 12 Pro Max, but then again, that's a given with any rugged case and compared to what this offers in terms of protection, this is on the lighter and slimmer side. The reason for the clear back by the way is to give better aesthetics than usual tough cases, but also to facilitate MagSafe charging through the polycarbonate back panel. Speaking of which, the panel did pick up micro scratches when we tested as we put it in the same pocket as keys for example, but otherwise the raised rubber ring protects it from being scratched or to prevent it from sliding across surfaces. The raised rubber ring also protects the camera module which is larger than most especially on the 12 Pro Max. They also offer a limited lifetime warranty on this and the full terms and conditions are available on their website. Overall, the Raptic Shield case is one of my favorite cases that I've used in a long time and is one that I would consider using as a daily on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. In case you want to buy it, we will be leaving a purchase link in the description below. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you again in the next one.